that secret door, you have to push this chest. When? When in any Shining Force game? One, two, three, CD that I never played? When have you had to push a freaking thing? That's not something that happens. Okay, there's a cart in Shining Force 1. You know what? I don't even think I want what's ever in this treasure chest. Stupid treasure chest. Oh, you know what? I think I want it. Hi, and welcome to more Shining Force 3 Scenario 3. If you watched the end of last video, you would know, you would have seen the struggles we had to figure out how to get through that passage. And, as it turns out, we had to push the chest, and let me tell you, I'm a little frustrated by that. Let's not move Gracia up here, because what Bridget didn't see, but what I see, are Hydras and giant ants lurking just around the corner. And there's a big part of me that wants to go hit this giant ant with Julian. Because I feel like Julian is overpowered and will beat everybody for me all the time. Also, got a Chimera here. He's the boss. But you know what this represents? Another, another Chapter 4 battle in Shining Force 3. That's not overly productive. We've had the battle with the statue. That is much less damage than I thought you would do, Julian. Uh-oh. We had the battle with the statues. We had another battle over the plains with these hell succubus. And now we have another battle over the plains. I'm just... Give me some story. Give me some meat. This better end interestingly. Good for you, Donner. Only six experience, though. Like, I can't sit here and say that my party is over-leveled or anything. Because, one, I'm switching people in and out. Spiriel, you're gonna, you're gonna not push all the way up there, because there's an odd chance here that you can't... that you're gonna block somebody who can actually do some damage from contributing. Oh my god. Gracia still has his broken swift boots. We still have not fixed them. Harold, this. This is why you're the worst. Your terrible movement. You're slow. Now, everybody is gonna gang up on Julian. Make me regret playing. Oh, 11 damage. 11 damage. What a pittance! We are nothing. Is everybody gonna come at Julian? No. There you go. There's some nice damage on our Donner. Oh my god. You can get a hit and attack the ant. Both the ants have went. You can't attack the weak ant, can you? No, but you know what you can also do? You can attack this Hydra Thousand. And for some reason you have plus damage on this? I don't know why. Wow. That's a pretty big swipe there, buddy. We can't be... We're gonna... Are we gonna do the... The continuous rant about how Thousand is disappointing. Can't really do that. He's he's pulling his weight right now. I think we might have finally got past the the Thousand brain cramps. Oh wow, 21. Th See, he eats that. He eats that for dinner. Please, sir, can you have another? All right, Bridget. Let's take a minute to actually survey this map. We have these three guys here. We have ruins that we're going to have to go through. We have slash bats. We have enemies on this side. We have enemies on this side. We have everybody all around, but that doesn't really matter. Bridget. See, you still need some sort of minor league damage spell. Because, you know what? I, I probably should have cast Bolt on this guy, but I can't... I can't for the life of me. Come in. Thank God it was... You know what? It might have been capped. I can't for the life of me waste a Bolt 1. Even though you have the MP and you never cast spells, get over yourself. Is what I say to myself. But no. I will be stuck here and be my crotchety hermity self. 
Uh, now you could come in and cast an Inferno on him. But I think we're going to have some... What's the word I'm looking for? Restraint. I think we're going to have some restraint here. Alright. I was going to say a thousand stronger than Julian, but that's not a fair comparison, because the Afterburner... Oh! Oh, children! Children! And people watching this game. I think Thousand is stronger. Maybe not, because he did have a weapon tree advantage. No, he's not. 75, 79. Julian also, at this point, likely needs, um... Likely needs a weapon upgrade. We've had that Lester Blade for a bit. And... We went to the shop, and there are freaking Luster Blades in the shop. Just for sale to everybody. Nice common weapons, I guess. There's nothing else but death. Ooh, what? Is, oh, this is the, uh, this is the special attack with the Halberd. 47 damage. Nice, Spiriel. I guess things are just, they have better weapons up north. All right, Rolly, can you come in here and finish this guy off? Maybe you can, Rolly. Let's see. What do you got? Stampede! I have not seen this. Whoa. Rolly, you're just... You're putting in the work. And you leveled up. And Rolly only has two spells. No, Rolly has three spells. So we're not getting anything special. Aside from, uh... Getting to cast side eye glances at Donart. 70 attack. 74 attack. Now remember, Donart's got a weak weapon. So we have nothing here. That's Spiriel. We have cleared out this area. We cleared it out real fast. So let's let's just start keep pushing. Let's remember that I think Julian or I think it's Donart. Donart could use a heal. But Dunnert will also heal himself, whereas Thousand... Thousand has no auto-regen. So Thousand actually needs... Actually needs a heal. Isabella, you're doing alright. We... We were... Did we... Last chapter, we got a Raphael egg. Which gives her Zephyrus as a summon. Um... I know I've mentioned this before, but I really, really, really like this aspect of Shining Force 3. How characters have four spell slots, and you can augment them with a weapon. Um, not only does it make your characters a little more customizable and put a little bit more strategy in the game, but it also makes your weapons matter. Because in the previous games, I would never have my mages attack. Oh, a bugbear. A hydra. We've been attacked from behind. Oh no. We're still gonna push up. Whatever. We're freaking overpowered. Um, and aside from... You know, you get to the end game and you get stuff where... Oh! Even the stuff you get at the end game is a pittance. But you get stuff at the end game where it's, um... You recover 2 HP or 2 MP per turn. Or maybe even if you're getting really lucky, 4 MP? But I don't think there's a 4 MP item. But... That's... That's not incentive enough. At all. Um... Because 2 MP on a 50 MP... Item? That's nice! But I, I really like how almost every rod in this game... Good luck. Slashbot, you're so tiny. I like how almost every rod in this game, or everything in this game, has augmentation like that. Um, it's really, really an improvement. Let's get Julian up to stuff. Unfortunately, not only, not only are we in a meaningless battle here, with nothing, no story elements, we are also... We have a treasure map to... We have a treasure cave to go through. And those treasure caves, they are slow battles. They will be dual recording battles. 
All right, thousand. You know what? This slash bat. He wants some. Come get some. Thousand's gonna eat you. All right, Leon. You're just too slow, Leon. We do have like. Here's the thing. We're gonna see how aggressive these enemies are to the south of us. But you're not even that aggressive. Okay, good. You have to come in. We have to attack Master Pruden. Master Pruden, are you going to go in the Ice 3 range? Pruden might be in Ice 3 range right now. If that succubus wants to come in... Okay, these Hydras are going to be aggressive. If this succubus wants to come in and do some damage, that's bad. So what we're going to do... Actually, what we're going to do... Is there anything else up here? Nope. What we're going to do is we're just going to block her off. That is Freeze 3, though. And Freeze 3 has... A longer range. So she might be able to come hit us. She might want to hit the dragon. We might be able to trick the AI. Also, a thief appeared. Put him my way. We'll be taking the treasure from this ruin. Oh, shoot. You're just diving in? Wow, the thieves are after those the ruins. We got to stop them from stealing the treasure. Yeah, I think... Okay. It has been... A long... How much damage is Freeze 3 going to do? We could be getting our comeuppance right now. I'm thinking in the 20s. Okay. We're fine. Whilst our magic... Whilst my team's magic has been leveled up considerably, the enemy's magic... Still kind of butt. We're going to have to get in there. We got to stop these thieves. Um, we have a slash bat here. Let's let's hit a golem. I'd be very interested here. I'd, I'd be upset on this turn, but I think it would be kind of cool if the slash bat didn't get hit by this golem. And they're just like, ha ha ha, I'm flying. But no. Golem takes the cake. Is Bridget gonna get a level? Bridget! You're not, you're not living up to the high standards. We gotta get into that treasure place, man. And we need to get a fly- oh no! We didn't bring honesty. We decided to take her out on this map. And that is a mistake. Because this is a map? We also need to heal some characters, let's not sort of get off track, but... This is a map with a, 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 a ruins, and a lot of these ruins places, one of the, the secrets and the best way to get through them is to, well, there's two things that Honesty does, but one, have a flying character, because there might be switches or something in there. And two, what also helps is to have fast characters. So I'm not... I don't think we're looking too good here. We also need to get Isabella in here and do a big heal. But on top of that... We're, you're, you're diving right in, Rolly. If you can dive in, we need our fast-moving characters in there. I don't want to lose the treasure, but uh, we're... So you have Aura. Aura 1. Rolly went in. So, these are the three people who got hit, but, uh, we're, we're in danger. And you know what we're also in danger from? We need to kill that Hydra. Because if that Hydra hits Pruden, that Freeze 3 is going to take us down, too. Now, I also need to get... Alright. You're not very fast, so if you can come in here and get a shot from either of these... And I know you can't. So, Harold, you're... You're not really going to be helpful, but you're going to go in. And Thousand, like, I need you in there. But at the same time, I need some of these enemies to die. But you won't do it enough to kill this Hydra. I'm hoping... One, I'm hoping for something here. My wonderful dragon. 
Dracarys. Burn him, my love. Um, that is huge, because that's going to keep... That is going to keep Prudent alive, but that's... Uh, I am... I am... I don't like to not be able to do things. All right, Leon, I know you can go in there, but that is... You're slow. This is not your fight. We got to get... And also, usually when I go into these ruins, I... I have a much more more high plan. I make sure my faster characters are kind of parked at the ruins entrance. And then they decide to go in. This has just been a mess. You want to go in there, bud? You go in there. Red, you know what, Red Dragon? You're a flying character. And you're not going to do much out here. That's actually... That's another plus for Cyclops. Oh, oh my god, it's dark. Okay, this one? This one's freaking intimidating. We have a lot going on. I don't know if we're going to get any treasure out of here. Because we have to clean these guys up. And you're going to come out with your big guns. And I realize I'm probably putting poor Bridget in danger from this bugbear. Oh, Bridget, I need I need 30s. I need big damage. Show me big numbers. Not even a level up. Yeah. All right. So here's our thought process. Rassia can live through a hit. Rassia has Inferno. Will Inferno do enough damage to kill this Hydra? We're gonna hope yes. You're getting upgraded. This Inferno spell has helped you immensely. Not that immensely, though. Alright, Spiriel, you're not going anywhere. This is your realm to take care of these people down here. Again! Again, another Lord Rush, Spherial. You know, I don't know how hot I am on you as a unit, but if you keep critting everything all the time, every time you hit, we are good. Julian, you can just go take out this bugbear. You're not going into the ruins, you can't. You're banned from the ruins. That bugbear is still going to hit somebody, uh, because Thousand... I don't have anyone who's going to be able to help. No, okay, good. I was about to say, did you not go into the ruins? All right, Hydra appears. This is okay. This is completely... All right, 16 damage. I don't think there's any way you're doing 16 damage to him if you hit him. And I think we're going to have to do a summon. Yeah, we're going to have to do a summon. And that's fine. You can even stay back here, because I think Zephyrus has big old range. Yep, so... No healer in the map room at the moment, or in the ruins at the moment, but we could send somebody in there to help. I think all the summons I'm using, and maybe I'll make a list on this that no one will watch, because who cares about summons? I don't care about summons. Uh, but I think Zephyrus might be my favorite summon in this game so far. So, this is our group that we're going to make our stand with. I think this group works well to sort of siphon off all the XP. Is there anybody in this group who I think would be really useful in the ruins? And I think the answer is a big no. So, can I see anything? Alright, is this... A switch? No. Okay. Um. Okay, so these are light lit, right? These are lit. I can do two ways. I have treasure up here. Oh my god. Like. These hydras and everything are scary. Like, they can take my force down. So, here's the question. Alright, I can come up here. I can't light anything yet. I'm putting Rolly in danger by making these decisions, too. Because Rolly is... Alright, well, 
here's all we have to see. Okay, so this can light something. Are we gonna light it? We're gonna light it to see what happens. Okay! Alright. That wasn't good in a sense that it trapped Rolly here, but it's good in a sense that these guys aren't gonna come get me. They're not gonna kill Rolly, so Rolly will live. And what do we have here? We have two treasure chests and only one exit path for these thieves. So, I have to assume these thieves are coming up here for this treasure. Now it's possible they're going to loot and one's going to turn back and go, but most of the time these thieves move forward fairly adequately. So, we have two paths. We can go this way and we can go this way. Cyclops, you're going to go this way? Oh, is there any... Can Harold hit? Because if Harold can... Yeah, if Harold can hit anything, like, go nuts. Do some damage. Because you're slow. This is... This is your role on the team. This is why you're here. Oh. My. God. You look at her butt. Did you see the damage? Did you see the damage? That was impressive. I don't know what Pruden's bringing to the table here. Uh, do you have an item to heal yourself with, Pruden? Yes. So you are just a meat shield at this point. But that's... That's okay. We have thoughts. Alright, so... Red Dragon, if something happens to you, we accept that. So you guys might be stuck in a little platform. Like your other ones. That's very possible. So out here, I think we are relatively fine. I don't think there's anything... super scary. You could make the argument that right now I'm being a little too aggressive. And I should pull back and let these guys come to me. And maybe I'll do that after this turn, when I attack them. Uh, because I only have so many resources, I only have so much MP. So, like, coming down here and fighting is kind of... silly pants behavior. But also, it's, it's, it's hard not to come down here and fight these things. Like, excuse me, that's... That's just free XP. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to turn down free XP? Am I supposed to turn down... Actually... Yes. Because that was dumb. Because now I'm close enough. Well, it's... It's never dumb when the lady in red, Spheriel, gets a level. It is never dumb. But we will see. Uh, because why I think I'm dumb is I have now reached a point with my units where one, this Hydra's not going to die, so he's going to attack us. And two, and it's an important two, when these guys spawn, they're going to be in our attack range. There is no way Zyphers has that range. No way. We'll just stay here. Be friends. And Leon, there's no point in you running down there. You're gonna, you're gonna stay there. This, this, this aspect of Shining Force 3 bugs me. If we're sitting here and critiquing parts of the game, I love these ruined maps. I love what they've done. I love what they accomplish. But there's a lot of, hey, your force is in the ruins. And the other force members just sit around and do nothing. Alright, so here's the question with Donner. Can we get anywhere to light anything? Oh, we can. Oh. I knew it. It's, it's a big dead-end room. And I shouldn't have run Donner in there. I should have run Donner in the head. Because now Cyclops and Red Wolf are kind of not doing anything. Do you have a heal? You don't have a heal. And see Cyclops. Oh wait, what is, is that a button? 
This is a button. Oh! That's cool, but what was the point of that? Oh my god, this, this is a hard map. Yeah, what's the point of this? Alright, you know what? This is your- this is what you're doing. You're gonna sit here, and you're gonna take out Hydras. And... You're gonna get to level 17, so I'm gonna kick you out of the party. Harold's lived a very charmed existence in this force. Because I don't think he's out there... Oh, you know what? We can sneak out this way. That's good. I don't think he's out here... You know... Kicking ass and taking names. I think he's out here being a competent member of the force. But he's just getting levels, he's just there to hit. He's just kind of been in the right place at the right time. Okay, so this was my question is, are these guys trapped? And it's possible, it's possible that the switch I just pressed um, unleashed all these people. Yes, that is exactly what happened. Um, so that's bad news, but also, look at this. This is good news. These thieves are going to come around to me. And you know what else is good? Pruden has fire level 1. Why is that good? Fire level 1 is not good. This is the first special attack you have done. Fire level 1 is not going to kill these thieves. Because that's very much something you have to worry about. You know what? I usually don't like wasting XP, but I don't have the time, so take this guy down for me. It's fire on fire. Good job. Good job. I just gonna stay fit. You're gonna come, but you know what? If there's... The fact that these dragons have permadeath scares me, but if there's anybody on my team who I want you to attack right now, it is that dragon. So, here, we're just going to play the safe old game of let's not get stuck fighting this thing. Let it go. These are the only two people who can sit here. Again, another crit. You're a machine. And you left it at 1 HP for Spiriel to come in and clean up. You know what? Do I clean this up with Spirio, or do I let Isabel get some experience? We're gonna let Isabel get some experience. We are gonna pull back a little. With the explicit point of view in pulling back. Nice, nice. Uh, so that we're not stuck fighting these Hydras and these bugbears all the time. Good. You have heal four, you have aura two. I don't even remember what your other spell is. But you're not going to get better. You're just going to get levels. I guess that could be... That could be something that... Hypothetically, in a future Shining Force 4 game that we all know ain't happening. Um, maybe allow more than four spells? Um, maybe. It, it's hard to say. I'd have to, I'd have to dig a bit deeper to see when... Oh, you know what? It's not allow more than four spells. It's allow more than three spells. So what I'm saying is allow more than four spells is while I sat there and pray- A white ring, nice, I want that. While I sat there and praised... And a Wendigo wand, I don't care about the Wendigo wand. Um, while I sat there and praised profusely... Um, not much in here. While I sat here and praised... How you can slot in these extra spells. Only having three spells on the units, though, kind of uh, makes them a little less interesting or a little less different. Cyclops, you're just staying here. I'm trying to figure out if we're going to bust out another turn or not. And I am debating on the... Yes, I want to do another turn. Unicorn Buck. Freaking super kick party over here with you, Rolly. Uh, Harold. Are you gonna be able to get an- You are. 
you're gonna be able to get another right place, right time kill. What a... What a machine. And see, you know how easy we are rolling through this map right now? You have to remember, you have to notice, um... Can I just open this? I can just open this. So here's the question. If I just open this... I can just open that with anybody. So I think what I should do is... Bring Thousand here, get him close, on the off chance that these thieves take off running. We want to give them space to go do their thing, but we also want to be able to run them down if they decide to take off running. Don't block the chests. They'll stay, we don't care about them. We are going to do one more turn, because I am like, let's see what's going on here. We're even going to bring these guys further up, because there's there's no point in them being that far down at this point. Let's go. Come on. You know, I should almost edit this stuff out of the video, so I don't have to sit here and keep running my mouth. But no, this is, this is what we do. We sit here and we try to entertain by saying gibberish and nonsense. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, what does that Chimera have again? Not that I need to know, because I'm going to stop playing. Freeze 3 and sleep. Theoretically, sleep could be really bad. I wonder if that Slash Bat will come down to greet us now, because we're fairly close to it. If it wanted to, you know, wake up and do something. Okay, let's see what these thieves do. Alright, the thieves are leaving. Both of them are leaving. Alright, I was not expecting that. Can I catch you? Alright. I don't think I can catch... Why are you both leaving? Oh my god, oh my god. We're not gonna get anything. We're not gonna get anything. Alright, you know what? This red dragon, that is your chest to get, red dragon. I'm not gonna catch you. I am... very upset. No. How this is played out because I want oh, oh, oh can I I can so I would love to drop a save state here and see if this is the right thing to do but I think I'm gonna try to sleep these guys will it work I don't think so I think these sleep I think the thieves are probably impervious to sleep but let's see. Yes, it worked. Excellent. What about the other one? Okay. Let's hope that you're the closer one. Oh! Okay. Oh, there's a switch there. I didn't even see the switch was there. But that's... That's horrible, wonderful news. Um, do we have Blaze 2? I think we do. Now the question is, do I want to hit Blaze 2? We have to hit these thieves. Like, we 100% do. Uh, I want to hit the one with the white ring more than the Wendigo wand. That's the white ring. We want this. I don't know if the thief will hit back, but... Good. Give me that white ring. This is what we came here for. We took the white ring. Harold, you're... Thanks for coming out. Actually, you know what? You can come through here. Can you land some pot shots? You can't this turn, but you will be able to next turn. Thousand, you're not in charge of looting that. You are in charge of hitting this other thief. Oh, he's, a th he's asleep. We don't care about hitting him. We care about protecting Pruden a little bit. Uh, because he's asleep, so it doesn't matter. That is perfectly fine. Recaris. Oh, this has been a considerably longer playthrough. The Gigaton press, so his attack has leveled up. But when we get finished this turn, that's it. We're going to stop our recording. 
All right. I'm glad this has worked out this way. Wait, what? You can't open treasure chests? What do you mean you can't open treasure chests? Wait, why are the thieves leaving then? You also can't inspect this? <sighs> Alright, this hasn't worked out great. Though I do think we can salvage this. If we go put a, th a, a, a character in front of the door, we can stop the thieves from leaving, which will stop the temple from collapsing, and we will be okay. But that's what we're going to do next time. Because we need to cease this recording. I need to do some other stuff today. Thanks for joining us.